Tim, can you help me do a, a quick video? Yeah. No, you got an orange to go in the old compost pile. Are you going to throw it? Oh, nice. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Thanks for joining us on Survey Homestead again. Today we have a special guest. We're going to talk about some things with tomato plants. So we're here to visit Mrs. Gordner. Hi, Mrs. Gordner. Say hi to the camera. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me in my garden today. It's such a nice day. I'm just pulling weeds. Well, Mrs. Gordner, you said you could show us how to make a tomato plant from a tomato plant. Oh, yes, absolutely. Let's look up here. We have a tomato plant here. Anytime you have a stem growing between a branch and the main stem, that's called a sucker. Not to be mean or anything, but that's just what it's called. <laughs> we can take a nice little pocket knife, sharp of course, we can cut this sucker. That sounds so funny, cut this sucker. I'm not being mean, guys. It's just what it's called. This has all the DNA to grow a new plant. All of these little hairs here can become roots and this will become its own tomato plant. It actually helps the mother plant as well because this will not usually make tomatoes, but it will take nutrients from the plant. So if we can take them off, the plant is better. So this will be part of our fall crop of tomato plants here in my garden. Let me show you what to do with this little guy. If you take a small cup, in this case I reused a water bottle, cut it off with some sharp scissors or a sharp pocket knife. Put a little bit of good old H2O in there. I take my sucker, place it in there, and it will begin to grow roots. And look at that! Roots already! Wow, this can go in the ground and be a new tomato plant. Wow, that is pretty amazing. Thank you so much for joining us, Mrs. Gardner. Thank you for showing us those cool tips. Thank you for joining me in my garden, everyone. I hope you can grow your own tomato plants. The, these tomato hornworms are plaguing us. This has been in the house in water, just like Mrs. Gardner told us to do. And look, this guy is on it. So he's been chilling in the house, I guess, all this time. Stinking tomato hornworm. Bam! Done. We have a garden bed. It looks a lot like Mrs. Gardner's bed. I just realized that. And uh, we still have tomatoes here from the from before the summer, and they're just kind of here. But they're they're still producing. You can see some little bitty tomatoes. They survive through the hottest part of the summer for us pretty much uh, we're in mid-august now so i'm going to plant these as a part of our second little crop and i'm sure i'll get some more suckers but um we have roots so hopefully they survive they actually stayed in the house a little too long because i didn't have a real good place to put them yet but now we're ready pulled all the weeds out of this area and ready to go you want to plant tomato plants as deep as you can like right up to the the first stems right there because like we just learned you'll get roots from all of those little hairs oh look a lettuce look sim i had my butter crunch lettuce here and look somehow it's just it just made a new plant right there that's pretty cool i'm gonna let it stay there and see what it does This guy here. Pack it down well so that the roots are in contact with the soil. If you have air pockets around your roots, they, they can't soak up water and nutrients well. Oh, we got some ants in here. Yeah. You weren't gonna tell me, Sam? Just gonna let me get bitten by ants? Okay. 
There we go. Man, hopefully this will be our fall crop of tomatoes. Thanks for watching Survey Homestead.